It's time! It's, it's time, time for what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax so we'll sing that and laugh -o on the Curious Giraffe Show. Get ready for the second part. Lap, lap, clap, 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 clap. I'm going to slow down a little bit. There we go. George Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so he was determined to find a boy or girl who could listen to the questions that were puzzling his mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh, 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 huh. Jeanette Giraffe was curious, curious about the world. And so she was determined to find a boy or girl who would listen to the questions that were puzzling her mind. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh, 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 huh. The kids were fascinated by the curious giraffes. Sometimes they made them wonder. Sometimes they made them laugh. Sometimes they too had questions that were puzzling their minds. The who, the what, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Huh, 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 huh. huh. All right. Welcome back, everybody. And today, Sienna is going to help Giselle introduce the Curious Crew. Jeanette, my mistake. Jeanette, thank you. Good listening. Okay, would you ask who's who? What's your name? Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. What's your name? Maya. Hi, Hi Maya. Maya. What's your name? <laughs> Sienna. Hi, Sienna. Hi, Sienna. What's your name? Bella. Hi, Hi Bella. Bella. What's your name? She, him. Hi, Hi she, him. him. What's your name? Brendan. Hi, Hi Brendan. Brendan. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Hi Dorothy. Dorothy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So today, I see that each of you has a friend with you. Megan, who do you have? Cow. Cow. A curious cow? Okay. And who do you have? Pelican. Pelican. And remind us again, the name of yours? Jeanette. Jeanette. And who do you have? A giraffe. A giraffe? I see two giraffes. A big one and a little one. Maybe a parent and a baby? Mama. A mama, a mama you think? Okay. Okay. I have a zebra. And a zebra. And who and are you? I have George. You have George the Curious Giraffe. Okay, so we are opening our circle, remembering to open our friendships and our circles and our show to whoever would like to be included. So we have a song about that called Open the Circle. Let's sing it to everybody. Open the circle, the time has come. on each other's shoulders and welcome everybody. Okay? Yep. Open the circle, the time has come. Open the circle to everyone. It's my circle without a doubt. I'll keep it open till nobody's left out. Very nice, very nice. And my friend, fr my friends, Frank and Ted, Frank Hernandez and Ted Warmbrand, who wrote this song, sometimes people say, why don't you say, it's our circle, we'll keep it open. And they said, well, we want each person to know it's my circle, and if I'm with a group of friends and I notice somebody who's left out, and maybe my friends don't, it's I can open the circle and say, come on over. You want to play? You want to sing? You want to do what I'm doing? 
So that's why they kept it. It's my circle and I'll keep it open. So we each take care of that. Okay, so let's find out what's on the Curious Giraffe's mind today. So we're going to start with the verse we've done before about the zebra. And then Giraffe is going to look at the parents. So Bella, if you hold that up so the baby and the parents show. Very nice. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and you'll need your hands for the chorus part. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at the zebra and said, Why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, We come in all types, but we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Nice job on the signs. Now, giraffe looked over at the parents and said, Every day I'm growing bigger. Someday I'll be grown up too. I wonder what I will be and do underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. So, we sang about it, but let's slow down. What is the question on Giraffe's mind today? Good. Let you all think, and then you'll each get a chance to tell us what you think. Brendan, what do you think? Um, what he will be and do. When? He's grown up. When he's bigger, yes. Did you want to say it a different way? or The same thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I just was wondering, have any of you ever asked yourself that question? Megan? That he's, well, wait until he's grown up to see what he's able to do. Yeah, yeah. And we can just wait and see, but maybe we have some ideas. Do you have any, anybody here have an idea? Thinking about what they might like to do when they are bigger and can do what they want to do? Maybe a lawyer or a therapist wow. or maybe a designer. Wow, great ideas. Yes, Bella. Maybe I want to be an artist. An artist would be wonderful. Megan. Okay, if you think of it again, you can put your hand up and let us know. Anybody else want to offer an idea? Yes, Brendan. Pilot. A pilot. Wow. May and Sandy, you have any ideas yet? Um, maybe a singer. A singer? Yes. May I? I'm not sure. Okay, keep thinking about it. Megan. Z zookeeper. A zookeeper could be fun. Wow. Okay, so we have songs about something called potential. That's potential. Who could tell us what potential means? All right, Brendan is ready. What do you think? Um, 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 able to do something. I've got potential in something. Po you can do it. You, are, you know you can do it. I have potential in something. That's yes. what I think. Yes. That's an excellent way to say it. Anybody else? Talent or a future. A future talent or something you have the potential, the capability to do. Megan? That you're really good at. Yes, or if you work at it, you get good at it, right? I have the potential. All right, great. So let's sing a song that's by my friend Liz Buchanan. What, would, what could I become? What could I become? I'm just a little seed. I could be a sunflower, I could be a tree. And lots of juicy apples could all begin with me. Cause I've got potential. I've got potential. I'm a little seed. I'm a little seed. What could I become? I'm just a little seed. I could be a redwood and grow through. 
to grow some pumpkins in time for Halloween. Cause I've got potential. I've got potential. I'm a little seed. I'm a little seed. Very nice. So a seed takes time. But I thought this was a nice idea because we're in springtime. And this is the time that people start thinking about planting little seeds and expecting and them I've to grow. I've already planted a lot of them. Have you really? Do you yeah. know what you're going to be growing? Because I, because I have this thing that has lights and that um, gives it sunlight and we water it and, and it, there's these little shelves that you can put the planted plants on. So, so is that indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Indoors right now while the weather's cold. But you have started your seeds. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes, Brendan. I've got some outdoor seeds. And have you already put them in the ground, or are you going to put them in the ground? I have, I think, put them in the ground. And yeah. do you know what you're hoping to grow? Not really. I just put a bunch of random seeds in the ground. Oh, that'll be become. fun. I yeah, want to see what they become. You want to see what they become. I think that'll be a mighty interesting garden. I closed right. my eyes and just dipped my hand into the seed packages, <laughs> and then took some out and then just plopped them in the Okay, I have an idea. So Everybody reach out and take an imaginary seed mm -hmm. and put it into your heart and put a little soil over it and shine a little light on it pour or sprinkle a little water on it and pat it and let it grow. And we'll see what grows. And I hope that I can keep an eye on each of you as you grow and find out what you do with your life. I love your ideas so far. Okay, so I have this next song about pelican. Will you hold up the pelican, Maya? Mm. Pelican pilot. I wrote this after watching real pelicans. They look like pilots because their wings are so long like airplanes. And they, they don't flap a lot. Like some birds yeah. flap a lot, but they stretch out those wings and then they glide. But they glide just a little bit above the water. And I always was amazed. Why didn't they... They hit the water, but somehow they were able to glide and steer so well. So this song is about that and something more, but it's about practicing. Yes. I, I saw this bird yeah. what, what, what could walk on top of water. Oh, I wonder what it was. That's really, that. you know, in the song I say that the pelican is kind of magic, and I think the bird you saw had its own kind of magic to walk on the water. I wonder what it was. I know of a lizard that can walk on water, but not really? a bird. Well, it's all very interesting. Well, it can run on water. It can't stand on water. You've that would seen. be impossible. It can run on water for only a short distance and oh. run it down. So, Bella, did you get to see the bird doing that? Yeah. How exciting. Okay. Well, let's sing about Pelican Pilot. Pelican Pilot sails over the sea. Gliding just inches from splashdown is he. Pelican pilot defies gravity. This wonder of seabirds, magician at sea. Now some bills are narrow and some bills are wide. Each made to catch food and to get it inside. But Pelican's bill is so far out in front He awkwardly splashes and crashes and snatches And finally catches his lunch Pelican pilot sails over the sea Gliding just inches from splashdown is he Pelican pilot defies gravity Wonder of seabirds, magician at sea. Now some things are heavy and some things are light. Most birds are naturally airborne in flight. But pelican pilots so large in the rear, defying all physics, he's able to steer. Have him fly. Pelican pilot sails over the sea, gliding just inches from splashdown is he. Pelican pilot defies gravity, this 
wonder of seabirds, magician at sea. Now looking at him and his strange funny show, one never would guess, one never would know. He's hiding a magical pouch of great size. He scoops up the best lunch, yes, he gets the prize. Oh, oh, oh. Pelican pilot sails over the sea, gliding just inches from splashdown is he. Pelican pilot defies gravity, this wonder of seabirds, magician at sea. So if you're feeling awkward, just think of this guy, stretch out what you've got, and give things a try. If Pelican Pilot can get off the ground, there's hope for us all. Oh yes, magic abounds. Last time, Pelican Pilot sails over the sea, gliding just inches from splashdown is he. Pelican Pilot defies gravity. Wonder of seabirds, magician at sea. Wow. Nice singing of a brand new song. Now, there is an important word here. Defies is one word. And gravity are two words I want to check in. Brendan, you were going to explain what defies means? Um, it means to um, repel, like do the opposite, even though it's um, forcing you to do something you um, defy something, you kind of go on protest. Even though someone's forcing you to so do something, you do it anyways. Oh, so okay. like Pelican Pilot, even though gravity's pushing down on him, um, he defies it and still goes up. Exactly. That was a beautiful, and what is gravity? Somebody else? Maya? Gravity is, um, is the force that's pushing down on us so we can't like fall float. off the earth like in air and we can't space because there's no gravity yeah like this is like space it's like space in space is there gravity no no but on our planet earth it's the pull oh. that keeps us on the planet yes okay very good i think if we're there's going no gravity, to you just go, go right to our story time and we're going to do it a new and different way. It's the story of Grandmother Tree. And I wanted to share it today because children sometimes think we have to wait till we're big to make a difference. But this is a story about real kids in a real town. It happens to be where Maya was in school and where I used to be in school, where they saved a tree. And I thought today we would act it out while we sing it. And I thought if we pass out the pillows, just pass them down, and I don't, when you get your pillow, pull out the card and see what Shouldn't character. Shouldn't keep passing them around? No, this not this time. We're going to use them a different way this time. Pull out the card and see what it has, and if you would help the children who are not yet reading, and, oh, how about you each, Brendan, which part did you get? Tree. Are you happy? Okay. And what part did you get? Teacher. Teacher. And what part did you principal. get? Principal. Principal. You're dressed like a principal today. Yes. Kid. 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 And kid. Okay. So, is everybody happy with the part you got? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Brendan, to, to be the tree, you are going to hold your arms up like a tree for a long time. Do you think you can do that? Should I stand up? Yes, when we start. Uh, okay. You think you can do that? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Okay, you can leave your cards on the floor. This is going to be fun. How this about principal? Fun. I'm going to give you the job when it's time in the... That's you. So, Brendan, when you'll be standing up being the tree, right where you are, and then the principal is going to come along and put a red X on you. Now, when she does that, when you want to hold out your shirt at that point and help her get this on there... Would okay. that be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, Bella, do you think you can do that? 
and he'll help you if you need help. But otherwise, we'll sing the story. The kids are going to play around the tree during the part we say they're playing around the tree. You're going to pretend to build fairy houses. I need to be And then you're going to go and see the principal. So maybe the tree, how about you stand right there, stand up tall. And I brought this to be the seat that is in, there's a stone at the bottom of this real tree. Mm -hmm. And the children get to sit there so kids can take turns sitting on the nice stool. And principal, how about you stand up over there near the nice plant. Okay. Very nice. And the teacher. The teacher, I guess, um, you can stand up too. You be between the tree and the princi principal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. And I'm going to give you this for the right. You'll need it at a certain part of the song. Okay? So, and the kids, you can, um, why don't you move the animals and pillows out of the way? Okay, so that you have put them behind you. That'd be great. And we'll sing the grandmother tree about real kids who saved this tree from being cut down. Okay, and you guys feel free to come over and be around the school wherever it says you are, okay? And sing with me if you know it. On Leverage School Playground, on one side you'll see our very own guardian grandmother tree. She stood long before the old blacktop was paved. And here's the true story of how she was saved. Grandmother was just like all pines in this place, except that on one side she has a kind face, and down near the ground there's a great resting place. A stone is ingrown in her trunk near the base. On hot sunny days children played in her shade. Around her wide trunk fairy houses are made. While she watches over the new trail beyond, right next to the wetland and small tadpole pond. And so set the scene where we played every day. It's how we expected it always to stay till one clear blue morning we all were dismayed. On, that's all right, you keep working on it, but that's Go the ahead. hardest part. Go ahead. On grandmother's trunk, a red X had been sprayed. Now what did this mean? Tell us what could this be? Oh, why have they painted our grandmother tree? They trembled and cried, and their hearts filled with dread. Why was she crossed out? Would our friend soon be dead? Well, the kids started screaming. Stop, stop, stop. They made a big scene. Something so mean. The teacher agreed they could take time to write. Go ahead and write your letters. Letters to save her, speak up for her rights. Now, all of you will go to the principal. They met with the principal, found out the facts. Why, Grandmother Tree had been marked for the axe. She said that her branches, point up at her high branches, had grown much too tall. And if the wind got too strong, they could fall on us all. Could they trim the top part and leave us the rest? Could they slow down and think before taking the best? She said, their show of concern. You nod your head yeah. and then point for them to leave. But they should just go now that they had their turn. Okay. With cards and with songs and with trembling fears, they offered their grandmother tree their sad tears. They offered her water. They 
offered her hugs. Fix is a hugger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they kissed her rough bark. <laughs> bid farewell. Give her blow kisses. Bid farewell to her bugs. Well, they held off the cutting until school was out. When she was cut down, they would not be about. When fall came, they dreaded that big empty space. <gasps> but wonder of wonders, they saw her kind face. They stepped back and studied her branches up high. <gasps> Grandma had a haircut way up in the sky. The kids hugged their teacher. Here's your teacher, give your teacher a hug. They all worked together to save her. Who hugged them right back? Now grandmother winks at that whole happy pack. Grandmother still winks at that whole happy pack. Very nice. Clap, everybody. You did a great job. Oh, God, that was painful. I want to especially <laughs> clap for Brendan because what was painful? That was a hard part. That was hard to keep the To pose. keep your hands, to keep your pose. It is very hard to keep it going that long. Okay, we're going to sing a little bit of So Many Stars, and then we'll have to wrap it up for today. So, so many stars, you can't count them all. And this, okay, here we go. So many stars, you can't count them all. Each little star is a great fireball from far away. Are you alone? Or does somebody hear you? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, maybe you'll leave a message. Well, this sex cell phone was once just a dream in a mind. And now it's a powerful force in our time. So many stars, you can't count them all. Each little star is a great fireball from far. Our goodbye song. So everybody stand up, stretch your legs. You've been sitting a long time. Come on over this way. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You want to keep? Okay, here we go. Remember the song? Let's sway a little bit, get the rhythm going. Let's let Bella up front where she can be seen. Here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Bye, we'll see you Bye. next time. Thanks for joining us. Do, 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 do.